Hello and welcome again to MSAG Online UK CAT course. In this video, we will dive into those complete the statement questions that we know students love or fear. Essentially, the question will give you two boxes and you must spot what has changed. The changes won't be random, they will follow one or more patterns. This video will discuss many of the patterns you need to watch out for. Our objectives over the next five minutes are to show you an example of the complete the statement question and give examples of the many types of changes that can occur from one box to the next. With these more complex question types, the best way to learn is to practice, allowing your brain to recognise the patterns behind the answers. A picture is worth a thousand words, so let's start with quite a few of them. Question 1. Which figure completes the statement? First, what is the question even asking? It's asking you to spot the changes that have occurred between the top two boxes, the ones of an is to in between. Think about what has happened to the droplet ship in the top left hand corner. Also, what has happened to the black ring in the middle and the white crescent on the right? Each shape has changed in some way by the time they have reached the box on the right. We must track each of the changes carefully because next it will be our turn to apply these same changes to the box beneath. The correct answer is this box. The changes were as follows. The droplet in our original box was rotated 90 degrees clockwise and kept its position. Hence our two headed arrows needs to be repeated 90 degrees clockwise and also keep its position. Eliminate the second test ship whose two headed arrow has not rotated. Second, our black ring ship was reduced in size, had its colour changed to white and was placed inside of the third ship. Therefore, our middle ship, the square with the notched edges, needs to do the same. Eliminate the third test ship as the square with the notched edges was reduced in size but did not change colour. Finally, our third ship of original three went from being a white crescent to a black triangle. This is a harder transformation to understand. Yes, it changed colour, but can you spot what the other change represents? The answer is that the ship also gained an edge or a side. A crescent has two edges, whereas a triangle has three. Therefore, our single-headed black arrow, which has seven edges, needs to become a white ship with eight edges. Now we can eliminate the first test ship, which is white, but has six edges, one fewer edge than the original arrowhead. The correct answer is the fourth test ship, whose white arrowhead has eight edges. This was a challenging example, but it illustrated the technique necessary to answer such complete the statement question correctly. You must carefully track each and every change that has occurred between the original two boxes and then mirror each of those changes onto the given box. We hope you now feel more equipped to tackle these tough but rewarding questions. Feel free to re-watch the video if you find there was a lot you needed to take in. Complete the statement questions can seem intimidating, but you really can get better at them if you try and practice as much as possible. Good luck! 